Hey everyone, I will be going over the performance for Chrysler Sigma according to my experience with it, where I played around an hour on both its stock speeds and with o'clock feet to maximize clock speeds. The game is rendered at a complete 544p and is capped at 30fps, which is a step down from the PS4 version's 60fps cap. As for the game's default clock speeds, the CPU is set to 333MHz and the GPU is set to 166MHz. Now, first impressions show that the game was generally very stable on stock speeds. Outside of boss battles, I spanned weapon specials to stress test the game and the framerate held up 30fps most of the time, even when multiple enemies were being defeated and lots of coins were being dispersed from them. But the framerate still had dips, mostly to 29fps, but I did catch an instance of it dipping to 27fps. However, the majority of framerate dips caused by weapon specials were mostly from one weapon, the Sword of the Falcon. In boss battles, boss attacks cause framerate dips as low as 24 FPS. The framerate will drop almost all the time during mana breaks, which will cause a drop to 23 to 27 FPS, depending on the enemy load. There are also the parts where the camera zooms into your character, which are when a floor has been cleared, or when you have been defeated. It's pretty much a toss-up of how low the framerate can go due to the dynamic nature of the camera. But, I've caught a drop into 20 FPS. With a 33% increase in clock speeds thanks to O'Clock Vita, combat outside of mana breaks and boss attacks was locked at 30 FPS. There was a case of the framerate dipping to 28 FPS twice in quick succession during the B20 boss battle, and the game over message also caused a drop of 28 FPS, but just like the game when it was running at stock clock speeds, it held up stress tests rather well. That's all I have. I'd appreciate any feedback on how I can improve my videos. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.